All right, welcome back to the Balance Out of Teletainment, the Good Morning Niger Show. We're still there in the month of March, uh, the month of, month of women, if you like. We celebrate, we still celebrate women. And uh, we get a lot of women where they do a lot of greatness inside Obodo, Nigeria. And those who don't carry and go there abroad to make sure say the Nigeria flag they fly. And the woman, not the, she's not the laugh from my side here. Anyway, we got a very right. kajad guest in the house, a lovely young lady. We don't carry the modeling um, industry. Come on for Nigeria, go inside the Obodo abroad so they do better, better things. And a lot of other young girls, they look up to her for the kind of betterment which they do. We would like uh, make you join us. Welcome at DME Adesola in the building. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Adesola, right? Yes. Adesola is your first name. Adesola is my first name. Okay, Adesola is your surname. Right. All right. We'll <laughs> <laughs> you go speak the pigeon by first, no worries. I, I, will, I would. I would love to speak it. All right. Okay, so now we could start from. Now, for reason that they see here, uh, you and know, mother, you don't start, you don't, you know, um, feature in different. Um, I will talk now. You don't do different pageants. You know, you've been starting your career from Nigeria here before eventually right. uh, you say you don't achieve and ascribe for greater things. You can't carry you go there abroad. So I would like you to tell us your own story by yourself. How this modeling thing, the whole modeling dream, how it takes start for you? Uh, how it takes start for me, they say, um, I don't always want to be like Agbani Darego. Mm, interesting. But um, my papa no really support me at then. They used to think, they, 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 they think, say, <laughs> The thing say maybe in a prostitute they do modeling or you know pageantry and everything. And my papa said, make I go to school because I, I you know I know maths and everything. Say if I finish school, you know, make I work, you know. And so I told my papa, say, if I do accounting, you know, if I do accounting, I don't go one work. So if I finish, I go give you my certificate, pursue my modeling, you know. So after university, I did NYSC, you know. And say okay, how I go pursue this old modeling thing for international, you know, standard. Mm -hmm. But I don't need model for uni lag. The first time where I um, how I get I got scouted, we say I did work for uni lag. You know, I, I wear heels every time. Everybody they yeah, me say you too tall. You see wear heels. And one day one guy walk past me and say you be model. I say yes, I want model. You know, nobody say I did model. Hook me up with a scout. And from there, you know, I did the Nigeria's Next Supermodel. I became first runner up. I did a little model look, I became first one up, and I say, ah, my head, my first one up every time, you know? <laughs> I can't think, say, okay, how I go pursue this old international, whatever, like, you know, the old international thing. I made so much research, you know, and, you know, applied for visa, got into the US, and started going from agencies to agencies to, you know, and it didn't work out the first time. I had to go back again, made more research, because I realized that, um, I needed a good portfolio. They don't like too much makeup. And all my work in Nigeria was more of makeup, you know. I needed to understand that I, I need to get a work visa, you know, so many things like that. So it was quite okay. more of research. All right, interesting. Now, make I ask you, when you've been starting this whole process, first of all, when you've been inside Nigeria, you know, as a student back then, Unilag, you can't go for different, you know, you've been um, tried out different modeling agencies, different competitions and all of that. What have been the basic challenges where you've been faced? Because I know a good number of young ladies too, where they say, in fact, one of them I did related to her, my younger cousin. And um, they, they, they see a lot of international models, supermodels, like you talk, Agbani Darigo, then you first be one be like. And, and so many other younger, so many other lovely ladies where they model like that. Now, many of these young girls, they try, they won't go, but they feel, say, uh, okay, just become a supermodel, you go make the money, you go they travel the whole world, everything goes sweet for you. Maybe we start with the challenges that you face, first of all, within Nigeria here, before we go there abroad. What will be the challenges that you face in your journey to becoming who you are now? So, uh, most of the challenges was not booking jobs often, you know. So, the modeling team in Nigeria is not so big that, they, like, the industry is not so big that you could get and make so much money. So, first of all, we are in Nigeria, I would do like jobs and get peanuts. So you do a job and you're there for like, let's say from eight o'clock to six o'clock and they're paying you 50,000 Naira, you know? And you don't know the next day you're gonna get another job. You know, that kind of thing. So those were one of the challenges whereby you cannot really have enough money to meet up to a certain standard because you get the hype on social media, on TV, you get the whole hype, but you're broke. So those are one of the challenges. And people will be looking at you like, oh, she be big girl, eh, hey, what's up now? But you don't have money in your pocket. So those were one of the challenges. And the fact that people don't respect models, they think they are prostitutes, they think they sleep for money, they think they sleep to get these jobs, which is not actually true. Models actually work hard. Like, you actually test your intelligence, test your beauty, test your psyche, 
you know, and also you have to fit a, a, a certain standard. If you're not skinny enough, if you're not tall to this particular, if your face don't look this way, then those are challenges as well. Because everybody wants to be a model, like almost all girls I know, but there are certain restrictions and limitations that, you know, restricts you to being that top model. So for me, I feel like we have restrictions, we have limitations, but you have to work harder. You have to think, what's my weakness? What's my strength? What exactly do people love me for? I know people love my face. And then I have the whole advantage of being skinny. So like you have to know what exactly is my strength. Oh, my cat work is very good, you know? And sometimes again, like if it's for pageantry or anything, some people don't even have money to sponsor themselves. So those are also one of the challenges. So what exactly can you do on the side to make extra money? Then I used to, when I was in university, I used to organize, um, when there are events, I also, I used to give out ushers. So I get the girls, okay, there's an ushering event, blah, blah, and all. And you don't have to sleep for money, you know. You have to just think and be smart. And all those money I made also, I saved them. And when I started um, doing, like, some bigger jobs, you know, because the more you do jobs, the more your face is known, then the more your, your money is better. At the point, I, I started, like, okay, I can't do any job less than 100K. I can't do any job. If you're calling me, I don't want, because most of the time, people really don't travel London, America, come back. They could come, they speak accent. Not because they even get money, but they could come on the rubbish you because you be model. <laughs> okay. You know, and yeah. then I was really like, I look really calm, but I always fight for my rights. You can't treat me this way. And it was a different thing when I went um, to America. You no, know, but you want my first job ever, like it was it was quite it wasn't a big job, but it was five thousand dollars. And when I got there, I was a bit late to the job because I was staying far away. And I come to beg them, say, I'm so sorry, I'm so late, blah, blah, blah. And, all. and they were like, you're fine. Because the, the, the call time was for 6 o'clock. And I got there maybe 6.30. So I was begging. On a normal day in Nigeria, they go, don't use you, you know. Mm. And then what they said, they were like, sorry, don't worry. Took me to a room. And the room was all food. Like, you know, it was a buffet. I was confused. I was like, nah, shoot, I can't shoot. Don't be safe. <laughs> I can't chop. So even to chop, self, they, they, you know, they, they, I, can't, I can't pick only pineapple. I don't want to pick, like, the proper food. They're like, so I can't see some other models, you know, come and say, oh, why don't you want to eat? You know, eat, you know. They treated me well and then did my makeup. 15 minutes shoot. Like, when I got to the camera, you know, normal here for Nigeria, cameraman go one test you, say, and they do test, you know, shoot you for, like, maybe 30 minutes, say, they did test camera. So me, I think it's not for like, you know, the same way Nigeria they do it. So I stood by the camera and they did prom, 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 prom. Within 15 minutes, they were like, she's done. Thank you so much. I come to see, I don't fuck up. Say, yeah. Oh my God. Wait till it happens. <laughs> I'm, like, I haven't shot. I haven't done anything. I was just standing there. And they were like, you're done. And I'm like, for this, you know, amount of money. $15,000, $5,000. Yes. For 15 minutes. For 15 minutes. I don't think I can my salary. Right? <laughs> <laughs> How many minutes? <laughs> you know, so that one just changed my life. Say, ah, oh my God, I don't they suffer. You know, when you did Nigeria, you mm. see, oh, you say 100K, you say 200K, 300K sometimes. Mm. You go, think, say, you get money. So I can't say, now, nah, so far, I did do for Nigeria all this while. So thank God, say, I plan myself, plan my life. Say, okay, you nobody know, say, I did accounting. I could have gone to work mm. or my listen to my parents, but I said this is not what I want, want to, do. to do. This is okay. exactly what I want to All right, do. Alright, beautiful. Yeah. Now, from what you don't explain, you don't, you don't you, you, correct me if I'm wrong, but you don't show me say um, in the angle of professionalism, it be like say, a lot of difference day between what you would see for Nigeria here and what you don't see for yes. Nigeria abroad. Right? Yes. So what do you feel say we feel do to change? You know, like to improve our level of professionalism concerning modeling, the modeling agencies themselves and the agents as well. From which you, you know, from which you don't see for the abroad now, bringing right. it back home now to Nigeria, what do you feel say we do to improve them? Now I noticed that the industry here in Nigeria is now growing because a lot of Nigerian models are doing stuff abroad. So mm -hmm. like everybody's eye is now getting exposed to what is going on. But I feel like modeling, um, model agencies should also learn to groom their models properly mm -hmm. and let them know what it entails. Like, it's not just sitting down. Like, don't just keep models there and think until you find them jobs. Help them to create a good portfolio. Because if you don't have a good portfolio and you say you're a model agent here, you don't create a good portfolio for your models, you can't really book them out. You know, even if it's for Polaroids, you know, try to push them towards where their strength is. If this person has a good work, if this person doesn't know how to work, okay, teach them their poise, how they have to, you know. So I feel like model agencies should do more grooming for models and let them, don't lie to them, you know. And for the, because sometimes I even hear about some agencies that try to pimp girls. Like, this is not all it's about. 
You know, don't deceive these girls and make them think, and don't make them think that when they're in that limelight, it's all gloomy, it's all bloomy, it's all, you know, good. No. Mm. Models, sometimes we models, we get depressed because you let them, teach them how to deal with dejection as well. And don't look down on them. The fact that they're trying to, you know, model, yeah, and you think, oh, okay, just for certain money. Try not to look down on them because you never know where any model can get, mm. you know. So, like, there are so many things to also, you know, like the people like I was talking about, the Obodo Imbo people that mm. come, like, at the end of the day, abroad, they'll be just intern. They even know nothing. So they should try, they should also try to like respect models, respect models in fashion shows. Don't talk to them when you are, oh, come, 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 do your hair. You don't do that. Mm. Like it's wrong. You're bringing these models down because before they even got this show, they had to come for the casting. Some of them even got dejected and tried to find their way into this thing. So they should actually learn to be polite, you know, groom your models and let them know their strength. Encourage them, even when they are not booking any jobs. Don't make them feel like they are useless because okay. everybody, you know, every part of your body is actually useful for something. Yes, you know? my hand that is on top of it. All <laughs> right, now let's go away from there. Now you don't already explain, say, you know, models, models they get some kind of issues. Now I don't know to say they get some issues where they're very um, unique or peculiar, basically, to models. For example, some people go see models still say um, this one are people where they sell their bodies. You know, right. see, models they no be, you know, never do wells, never do right. Say that the only way to be do be this, and because of that, some of the agents say and the agencies. They take advantage of the models here as regards what they happen abroad. Now, is there anybody, they get any kind of union, any kind of association where they take care of models' welfare here? Where they say, if they get issues, they feel complain to this particular association here for Nigeria where they are aware of. And also abroad, do they have that as well? Where we say, if they get abroad and we don't get here, we feel learn from what they do there. Um, it's not so common actually. Though mm. here in Nigeria, I've been hearing about some groups, you know, trying to protect models from sexual harassment, mm. or maybe models not being paid or treated right, you know. It's not so common, but now it's, gro it's grooming. But in where I'm from, like where I stay in New York, I don't really know so much because there you have your rights. So even if you're being treated wrong, you can always report to the legal authorities. So like, it's not so common there. I'm sure there could be. There are like some model um, groups, you know, that kind of thing, but because they don't maltreat models there. Like, I'm sure like there's still some things that go wrong, but it's not so common on like here in Nigeria. So I think here in Nigeria, like we have, maybe they still have to, you know, have more groups. And one thing I also say to models is learn to speak for yourself. That was one thing that actually made me stand out. I don't let people disrespect me because of I'm a model. So I used to have the issues here in Nigeria whereby I'm the spokesman for every model. Like when I feel like a client isn't dealing with us well or treating us properly, I go to talk, so every model is complaining. And I'm like, okay, no problem. I'm going to tell this client, we don't like this. This is what is going on. You're keeping us waiting for so, so, so. And when you go to the client, you see all the models, they go slay you. They go move their back when you they talk for them. So I learned to you know, stand up or stand up for only myself instead of me talking for other people. If you know you're being wronged, speak also for yourself. There are sometimes clients who keep me waiting when I was in university too. 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock at night, and then you want to send me, yeah. where do you want me to get money for? Like, there's no bus. I'm not going to go, you know. And I go to meet them, like, you okay. have to take a, you have to either tell your driver, drive me back to mm -hmm. school, yeah. or get me a hotel. And okay. when I do that, they actually get me a hotel to stay. Mm. So I realize that most models, they keep quiet, and you, you live with the suffer headness. Okay, you understand. Well, yeah. very, 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 very interesting. Uh, a lot of things where... Uh, you don't already explain to us basically now um well obviously we, we know to get so much time left i would like to keep you here because so many things we have to like to learn right. about models one quick question just answer in one word would me the right body size if person won't be model <laughs> more like a size two or size zero oh. <laughs> all right i'm like a 10. <laughs> anyways thank you so much for you join us in the building now if we want to reach out to you more would it be your social media presence so my instagram is desola.adme so okay. d-e-s-o-l-a dot at AME. And on Twitter it's the same, but you can, you know, use at Slim Desi. Mm. S L I M D E S S Y. All right. Thank you so much. We don't talk to um Adeyemi Adesola, supermodel from Nigeria. And of course India abroad. You don't make waves so many places and she still they do her thing. For many young girls which would like to become supermodels like her, or even better than her. Um, you know, she don't give you tips on waiting you feed you. Thank you so much, Desola, for joining Thank us in the building. I mean so I hope say I go feed one day. Uh, grace, no, the <laughs> grace the wrong way, as you said, don't do them eventually. Right. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.